Yo, it's just another day in the park, you know, we just got the people outside. Just kicking it on the bench. Having their little picnics and whatnot. You see the guys over the corner with their buds and the middle of lights and whatnot. And on the other side, you got them playing basketball and then the I mean it. You got the ladies over there slaving over a good meal. Yeah. Come out, kick and enjoy a little moment of a memory pose. Around my people, giving up their problems like a free throw. Resembling some b ball hooping and shooting. But not the type that bloody up sidewalks through a pollutant. Boosters boosting, a bootleg is distribution. To sell our shit for a cheaper price, that's not a solution. Cause you stealing money from me from helping communities. I guess it's like, fuck that, cause this is who we be. We chilling on the bitch, talking shit, scoping around the environment. People setting up barbecues. Hi, my name is April Nicole. Welcome to Sister Girl Readings, everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing semi-personal readings. Semi-personal readings are when you do readings. And they are for the name, first name, middle name, last name. And if they general, so they're fluid. And if it resonates with you in your situation, cool. If not, then it's not for you. Check back on the reading, your sign, you know. how it go. Okay, so I'm doing Andrew. Somebody told me Andrew. Somebody whispered it to me in my ear. I don't know any Andrews, but Andrew. Could be Andrews, Andrew, Andrea, Andrew. Ooh, out. Okay, out. So someone is buying a new crib. Someone is decking that bitch out. Andrew. Woman. For a young woman, maybe. Lover. Unrequited love. Thought. Reckless thought. Okay, so someone is consistency. Someone is buying a house. Um, could be for a younger woman. A woman that had to grow up very quickly. She could be still a child. Or she could be a young or you could be buying a house for someone that you feel is young and they are childish. Lover is very interesting. Let me tell you about this. It's wonderful that I love so much. This also has um I won't say it has a deck. I bought this book to go to the deck because you ain't gonna buy this book. You are not gonna get that with this. Just not gonna do it. Now no seven dollar deck, so I always get it cheap. And that'll be lover. Okay. Uh, immature love, uncertainty, questioning your feelings. So you don't, so this person, you offering this person a house, or you are buying a house for a woman that doesn't really know if she even likes you. <laughs> you think it's crazy. Maybe it's a crazy thought. Maybe you think it's stupid. Like, why would you buy a house for someone that you don't even know where they stand with you? It could be so a friend of someone. You watching it like that? It's crazy. Lack of thought, impulsiveness, without thinking things through, anxiety. Consistency is also here. So um, consistency can be hesitation, um, impulsive behavior, an impulsive friend, an unfair friend, lack of commitment, someone that's not stable, very fragile, and there's a lack of firmness. So you you buy a house with someone you don't even know. You ain't know this person. <laughs> You are a fool in love, and you're buying a house for a feminine person, and you don't even know how they feel about you. you you're crazy, but you just don't care. What? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Waiting. What are you waiting for? Waiting. I want to know what you're waiting for. What are you waiting for, Andrew? A friend, a doctor. To be a, someone in care of someone. You just want to be there for someone. You don't really care if they need you or not. You just want to be an opening, loving ear to someone that if they need a shoulder to cry on. Because doctor is like this man taking care of this woman. He's so helpful. He's helpful across from the young woman. He just wants to doctor someone up and take care of them. That's so sweet, Mr. Andrew. Um... Yeah, whatever the crisis is, they're going to give you a good answer, give you good advice. They're going to help you have a period of situations, and you're going to encounter favorable events. Uh, could be a husband, father, grandfather, serious, loyal, sensible, and reliable. Yeah, somebody's going to help you. Or you're going to help somebody else. Um, lover and friend. So you are in love with someone that is your friend, and you don't know how they feel about you, Andrew. Let's see. What is thought? Why are you doing this? Why is that love? Scholar, you want to pay someone for their brain or their intellect or their knowledge. You just think that they're so smart. And um, 
hope in the Lord. Interesting. Um, hope is interesting regrets. I'm going to check into that. Only because it can mean a myriad of things. Um, your future is disrupted, which you're hoping will be dampened, or you're, you're discontented on how something will take place. Maybe you're afraid of getting taken advantage of with the law reverse, or you're going to take advantage of someone else, and you're afraid that they will not take you. The Lord can be a selfish man, a man that doesn't love, shameless, wounded by life, and warns of deception from an undesirable person. Ooh, an enemy. Journey and service. Someone that's disguised as a friend. They ain't no friend. They foe. But you don't know this person. They don't know you. So that's why. All right. So let's see. Yes, Andrew. Are you the foe? Or are they the foe? Are you the foe? What are your intentions with whoever you're doing it for? What are your intentions? Cheerfulness comes out. Okay, so you want to throw parties with someone. What is your intention? Sweetheart. Okay, so you want to give a party for a girl you like or a feminine person. Okay, so let's see. I don't know what to stop me. Let's see. That is, okay, they definitely stopped me. Fortune in prison. Hmm. Someone's going through a very fucked up period and they're in jail. Yeah, I definitely see jail. Or they're in a period where they're thinking about something. Fortune can be about luck not on your side, losses and rejection. Hmm. You're you're afraid of being rejected. You're afraid of having being misunderstood. Let's see. What are your intentions? What are your intentions with this woman? Seems like you're afraid of being misunderstood. What are your intentions with this woman? Your intentions with this person. All right. Okay. So, waiting, waiting in haughtiness. So I don't like haughtiness at all. But waiting. Maybe you know that this person is unrequited. Um, haughtiness can be about a situation in which you are bribing someone. I'm gonna look that up too. A healthy aware of someone's limitations. Um, restoring relationships. Or something has been resolved. Maybe um, maybe you weren't a good person. Because I see the wedding, the house, and pleasure seekers. Maybe you weren't a good person before. And now you're trying to resolve that. Wedding is about a love that doesn't come. The house. Maybe you're giving someone a house for what's your wage. That's a nice gift. Pleasure seekers is someone that just plays games with you, though. Could getting carried away. It's very risky. Okay. What is their intention towards you? Andrew. Andrew. Despair and soldier. They're, mm -mm. They're sad. Andrew. Melancholy. Mm. How? Um, pleasure seekers, lover, and hope. Okay, so that's crazy. Conversation and baby came out. So someone's gonna have a conversation about a baby, and um, someone's gonna get a love letter. A love letter. Okay, so how they see you is despair. They're disappointed. Someone is disappointed. Very disappointed. Disappear, despair is jealousy, disgrace, cheated, um, difficult times, vulnerable, unhealthy, dangerous, insane thoughts that are not rational, uh, envy between business partnerships or people, humiliation, um, controlling, possessiveness, spying, emails. So you're spying on someone and they feel like they got to be protective about you. Soldier. It could be someone that's a policeman, or they mistrust their protectors, um, justice or enforcement. They could have a restraining order on you. So they could be serious. They seriously don't want to fuck with you. Damn, I went, that went left. Um, melancholy. Melancholy is about a situation that, like, bittersweet, sad or lonely, 
They feel that you're sad and lonely. They feel like you are fucking crazy with the health insurance. They feel like you're crazy. You have a broken relationship and you are a failure to provide good... Yeah, they feel like you're delusional. You're a fool in love. Ouch. Sorry. They feel like they don't want to have kids. The conversation is not going to go well about any kids, so don't ask them. Um, you're in love with someone, you're going to write them a love letter. Um, they think that you're trying to sell them something. Let's see. Melody. Melody. Crazy. Melody is about sickness. Maybe you're sick. Jealousy. Heartbreak. You have a disease, maybe. And merchant. Merchant is about a good omen or a negative, stingy, or scheming with negative cards. Yeah, secret meeting an older man. Someone beneficially. So it seems like you got a lot of money and you're trying to buy a house for a chick that doesn't really. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. My video didn't cut off. I had full, full memory and I was just like. Anyway, so I'm going to finish your reading for you, Andrew. <laughs> Basically, you're you're falling for someone that don't fuck with you, and they don't know who the hell you are. You buying something for them? And they're like, you probably are a scam artist. You're going to be misinterpreted. Someone's going to look at you the wrong way. You're afraid of being misinterpreted. They're going to misinterpret you. They're going through their own shit. They're thinking someone's trying to fuck them over every chance they get, and they feel like you're just no different. So, to be honest with you, maybe you should leave person alone. They don't seem like they know what the fuck's going on. You don't know what the fuck's going on. You should probably get to know them first before trying to buy them anything. Um, if they don't, just tell them up front, like, I'm interested in you, I want to see where things go, and if they're not interested, then just kind of move on, maybe it's not meant to be, you know, I wish you the best of luck, I hope that you don't get taken as a crazy old geezer, but, yeah, so, let me know how that resonates with you, I had to make sure I let the little ending at the end of your reading, I didn't want to leave you hanging, alright, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you guys later, thank you.